Who farted? Hey everybody, welcome back to SourceFed Nerd. We're gonna play some Cards Against Humanity. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I'm William Haynes. And I'm Raina Scully. And I'm me. <laughs> Joe Beretta. So yeah, so uh, we're gonna jump right in. I assume that you have seen Cards Against Humanity either on this channel or somewhere in your real life. Real quick, have you Probably. played it ever in your life? I have played half a game twice. Cool. Were you racist in it? <laughs> I was not racist, but I can be today if you want. It's a pretty racist okay, have game. You, have you played it before? I have never actually played, but I've seen all the videos and I know exactly how to play it. So she's going to be racist. Okay, okay, let's go. First the floor wins! Okay, um, <laughs> um, I'll, you want to judge first? You want? I'll judge first. Why don't you? Yeah, sure. Why okay, not? ready? Yeah, set the flow. Ba -ba -ba -ba. The votes are in, and the new high school mascot is blank. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like mine's a cheap shot. Well, Joe's really taking this time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we gotta put mine down. Put it down. <laughs> Joe makes his arm up, and then we go from there. Yep. Okay, so the votes are in, and the new high school mascot is a vagina that leads to another dimension. <laughs> the votes are in, and the new high school mascot is sexy Siamese twins. Uh, <laughs> I think that'd be a popular mascot. The votes are in, and the new high school mascot is. A bigger, blacker dick. It's gotta go to a bigger, blacker dick. It's a yes. trump card. It is a trump card. That's, That's the card that like, goes to I Reina. Cheap. It just cheap. falls on the table, it breaks crap. It's just a big, <laughs> black thing. <laughs> no, falls. It it's a bigger, wins. blacker yeah. thing. So you so got a card. You're the judge. Everyone who put down a white card, draw a new white card. Rookie, so you have some. Oh, he rookie wins it. Go After ahead. You. Oh, oh, wait, so I pick up a white card? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh. And now Joe will be the judge. I'm the judge? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Clockwise. Excuse me while I read. This holiday season, Tim Allen must overcome his fear of blank to save Christmas. Uh. Bigger, blacker dick would have done great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> Here we go. This holiday season, Tim Allen must overcome his fear of my manservant Claude to save <laughs> Christmas. This holiday season, Tim Allen must overcome his fear of Whatever Kwanzaa is supposed to be about oh, to stop wow. Christmas. That one's really Spread. good. This holiday season, Tim Allen must overcome his fear of moral ambiguity to save <laughs> Christmas. I'm not really a fan of any of these, so I'm just gonna Aww. have to go with what I think is fits the best, and that's Kwanzaa. Yeah. Oh! That's Kwanzaa. Not nice. my manservant, Claude? Yes. I thought that was hilarious. So do I get to keep this? You Oops, keep sorry, you keep this? that one. Finally, a service that delivers blank right to your front door. Or right to your door. I'm just always mad. What? <laughs> okay. What are you whispering, bruh? Bruh. Bruh. Go ahead, read them. Okay. Oh my god. Finally, a service that delivers another shot of morphine right to your door. That would be convenient. Okay, all right. Finally, a service that delivers socks right to your door. That would be convenient. Also good. Finally, a service that delivers the boners of the elderly <laughs> right to your door. That would not be convenient. That, hey, <laughs> speak for yourself. Some people. I will You're speak for myself. The boners Give of me the elderly. my elderly boners. <laughs> That's right. I foreshadowed okay, earlier. Rewind that clip. Anything with Come dicks here. wins. Yeah, apparently. Boners, yeah, dicks. boners no, of the elderly. Oh, yeah. This is one of my favorite black cards. And what did you bring for show and tell? Oh, yeah. Can I use the boners of the elderly oh. again? <laughs> I usually find really random things. Like if you play with Ellie, like if you play with Ellie, else thinks funny. you don't go for funny. If you play with Ellie, you, you go, go for, for like logic. Literal like, logic. Yeah. What would I bring to show and tell? Mm -hmm. Do I have hula hoop in? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What did you bring for show and tell? Insatiable bloodlust. That's pretty good. What did you bring for show and tell? Genetically engineered super soldiers. Also pretty good, oh, depending so good. on what grade you're in. I want that to win. And what did you bring for show and tell? A soulful rendition of Old Man River. I'm picturing a little oh, kid old doing man Old Man River, River and that wins. Oh, that wins. What a coincidence. <laughs> what a coincidence. Yeah. Just take it. Ray, how many cards Those do you have? One. Child super oh. soldiers oh. would have been pretty cool. <laughs> um, All right. My up again already? Zero points. You never did a black card Sorry. yet? No, I'm doing now. My then bad. you're the judge now. You My bad guys, no, again. You're good, cheater. You're good. <laughs> you're good, newbie cheater. Okay, Marina. When Pharaoh remained unmoved, Moses called down a plague of blank. Ooh, a new card. Seven cards each, right? Huh. Mm -hmm. okay. Moses called down a plague of fisting. 
Ooh. Like, one hell of a, like if that was like right after the frogs, you'd be like, okay, we elevated things a little quick here. Okay. Um, Moses called down a plague of fabricating statistics. <laughs> that, like, would, that would have been mine. That would have. That'd be awful. I would choose that. One. Moses. Okay. Okay. We're gonna fabricate some, okay. gonna fabricate some statistics here. Mm-hmm. And lastly, sneezing, farting, and coming at the same time. <laughs> That's how you spell that? Oh, you thought man. it was with a U yeah, and two U. M's. No, I thought just one U. <laughs> I thought there was a Z and a silent Q. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That could be. I have to go with fabricating statistics. That is the most wrong thing I've ever heard in my life. I, I have to. I love stats. Now we know ah, how to I'm play. I'm a dork. I just like stats. I like it. God. If it's got math, Boom. stats, science, psych on it, it's probably. See, gonna we're win. learning things I know. about the new kids. Fabricate. How many cards am I? Fabricating. Fabricating. Oh, come on. I want that card. <gasps> During his midlife crisis, my dad got really into blank. During his midlife crisis, my dad got really into unlimited soup, salad, and bread. <laughs> I was already down with that because in college I thought it was classy to bring a lady to Olive Garden. It oh. wasn't. Oh. Why is it in college? No, college. That's nice. It's not. That's oh no, fine I thought in it was. Here, no, I when thought it was. When you're upgrading from like cup of noodles. I thought it was the epitome, though. I didn't think it got better. Oh, than I it see. wasn't like this is all I can afford, baby. It was. Oh. I'm rolling in it, <laughs> and you're gonna get some I'm unlimited soup, up. salad, oh, and breadsticks, God. girl. Maybe oh, some chicken oh. parm if you're freaky. So you take it mm-hmm. to Chili's? Like, what's the... Oh. Chili's is so gross. Don't even get me started. Case of the explosion salad, man. Explosion is the only way to put it. During his midlife crisis, my dad got really into Mall Santa. Mall Santa. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. Can you just imagine? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And during his midlife crisis, my dad got really into getting in her pants politely. Oh. See, I think that's the opposite. I, th- I feel like, yeah. I feel, not that my dad specifically, but dads in general are just like, I'm done trying. <laughs> I'm just gonna straight up ask. I'm gonna go with Mall Santa. Oh, I'm gonna go with Mall Santa. Is it you? Yep, there that you was go. Nice. Mall Santa. We're gonna butts kicked. I figured no. you could take it to. I had getting in her pants politely. I thought Girl, that was funny. I thought that was a funny old new. man move. You could be polite about that. Uh, would you mind my if uh, maybe after a little bit of dinner, I'm go in your pants? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. All right, Raina, you're the judge. I'll hold the door open for All you. Right. Back door. I think, I think you learned to be very polite. I'll pull your in chair your out age. and your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> and next, in his newest and most difficult stunt, David Blaine must escape from blank. All right, in his newest and most difficult stunt, David Blaine must escape from <laughs> one thousand Slim Jims. I don't know how Oof. you. Escape from are you, them? Are, are they, you being beaten? Them? Are you drowning in it? It's like you're, you're in a pit and there's like a, a bunch yeah. of them. Did are Meg they... submit this? <laughs> <laughs> are they like in the wrappers? I don't know. Is uh, I mean, Macho Man matters. Randy Savage's dead body there? Shit. Number two, run them! In his newest and most difficult stunt, David Blaine must escape from the economy. <laughs> huh. I, I do like it. It's pretty sure. I feel like somebody's trying to economy. appeal to your love of I numbers know. there. I know, and but it's really it? obvious that I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't who know. Who is it? <laughs> In his newest and most difficult stunt, David Blaine must escape from the moist, demanding chasm of his mouth. Um, have to go with that one, because what? What? His own mouth? How do you escape from that? How I don't do you know, do that? But we'll celebrate by unbuttoning one uh-huh. button. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you. Oh. Joe takes it. No, no, everybody has two but me. Thank you. What helps Obama unwind? <laughs> what helps Obama unwind? Mm-hmm. Daddy's belt. <laughs> uh, nunchuck moves. <laughs> That's good. That's awesome. A clown juggling his broken dreams. Guys, obviously the answer is a clown juggling his broken dreams. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Thank you, James Millen, for entering that. Woo-woo! And I put that down! How like, much so did you good. love nunchuck moves, though, bro? I mean... Nunchuck, oh, picture Obama doing some nunchucks. I mean... That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I forgot he wasn't even about Obama. Just the <laughs> broken dreams part got me. He said, clown no juggling clown <laughs> dreams. All right, ready? All right, two, two, three, two. Two, 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 it's a tied game. Oh, Good job, guys. My. All right, ready? About not, it's about to not be tied. Tonight on 2020, what you don't know about blank could kill you. Oh. 
Tonight on 2020, what you don't know about nubile slave boys could kill you. <laughs> what you don't know about some really fucked up shit could kill you. That's what the card says. Yeah. What you don't know about impotence could kill you. Oh. <laughs> Literally, it would have to be some really fudged up poop, but I'm liking the weirdness of impotence, and I'm gonna go with that. No! Yeah! Pick it, pick it, Ray! So good. Some Trisha was good. loves the. <laughs> <laughs> Effed up stuff should have won. I'm just saying. Well, that that one made the most sense. I wish literally. the news yes. was like that. I really do. Uh, <laughs> tonight on the 8 o'clock news, I'm really effed up shit. It's, it's and it's gonna be in your brain. And if you don't watch this broadcast, it will kill you. Jojo, you the judge, baby. I'm the judge? Mm hmm. What are we doing? Mm. How many cards do you suppose Seven, to have? baby. <gasps> you guys ready? I'm gonna start calling you Steve. That's how Steve <laughs> plays games. <laughs> he needs to check the rules every round. You guys, what keeps me warm during the cold, cold winter? Mmm. <laughs> Oh no! I hope that's just his life. Oh wait. <laughs> <For real. laughs> what keeps me warm during the cold, cold winter? Clearing a bloody path through Walmart with a scimitar. <laughs> that's pretty good. Or skymitar. Skymitar. You can say it. What keeps me warm during the cold, cold winter? Steve's biggest lady fan, as played by Joe from the at Wrathfall. Wraithfall. <laughs> Is that, is that the thing he's talking about? The, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Steve is in a gozum. <laughs> I'm on a kid inside you. Mm -hmm. What keeps me warm during the cold, cold winter months? <laughs> Pretending to be a oh, <laughs> That one's poetic. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, be real here. Yeah. That's a problem. That's going to be real. And it's such like an introspective, reflective moment that makes me sad on so many levels, <laughs> pretending to be happy I had to do this to you. <laughs> oh, oh, no. So good. No, but things so are great. <laughs> no, but things are great. Mm. I love my life. I'm sorry. No, it didn't win because that spoke to the inside of me. It won because it was just the best of it. It was the best. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's win this, Joe. Cause that's oh, what you do. If, yeah, if Joe gets this, have? he wins. He's got, got three. three. But Will's got what? three, too. Wait a second. So you guys got to be careful. Will, okay, so Will, Will and Joe are both at game point. Mm. <laughs> so if I don't win this round, this game's over. No pressure, pressure, no, no pressure, no pressure. No pressure. It's hard mm. to concentrate when there's so much going no. on to the left and right of me. So much time. Yeah, that is the whoa. Sli oh my god, I didn't even I'm realize. I'm about to flip this table over, Joe. I don't know how <laughs> I to come feel get about some that. of this. Yeah. I am. After blacking out during New Year's Eve, I was awoken by. Do your worst. Well, that was so fast. What Trump was that? Cards. After blacking out during New Year's Eve, I was awoken by the terrifying sex moans of a deaf woman. Courtesy of Kyle <laughs> Herrich. <laughs> who, wants, who wants to make those sounds? Who wants to do it? No! Oh, it's terrifying, wait, wait, deaf, terrifying. Deaf, deaf woman. Terrifying, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what that would sound like. You guys are not going deep no, enough into the offensive bank. Would... After blacking out during New Year's Eve, I was awoken by cock. Not even a <laughs> cock, just cock. cock. Straight cock. Not plural, cock. I mean, period. This, There's a period. It's relatable. We've all been there. After blacking out during New Year's Eve, I was awoken by Benjamin Franklin, time traveler. <laughs> Jimmy Steve's not Nera, here, Jimmy. Naravatho. I'm sorry. Naravatho. That's an awesome That's name. That's an awesome name, even though yeah. I couldn't pronounce it. Sorry. It's because I was so overwhelmed by how amazing uh, it was. The Naravatho clan. Some kind of like animal god. Ooh. I feel like you have like an eagle for a head. <laughs> not I'm just an eagle head, but like a whole eagle. It's going to be I'm going to go with terrifying sex moans. I'm a deaf Dun, 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 That's the American Gladiators theme song, everybody. Oh, I thought I was a yes. shoe in with BFTT. Yes. I know. I went for that hard. I want to thank you for playing. <laughs> I want to thank you for playing. Thank uh, you. Hey, hey. You good game. Playing. Good you guys, game, fist bumps. Come on. Good I'm game, kids. sportsman. Good game. Congratulations, <laughs> Joe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Source
Lisa plays Cards Against Humanity. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and all that good stuff and click this annotation. I'm Trisha Hershberger. I'm William Haynes with Panty Rates. <laughs> okay, I'm Rena Scully. I got nothing. <laughs> Get out!